second. It's question 10. It's question 10. We're halfway there. Halfway to 20. 20 divided by 2? 10. Question 10. Incoming. 3, 2, I hate this one. Ugh. Does God reward and punish? Well, there's definitely um, that language in the Bible, particularly in the Old Testament. But since the question was in the present tense, I'll try to keep it in the present tense and not talk about like people's understanding of <clears throat> what happened as being God's judgment or not and that's how they kind of process through their experiences. I won't get into all that stuff. Punish bothers me because I don't know that I would think of God as being punitive. In the New Testament, the love of God is sometimes characterized or hallmarked by correction in the way that a parent might discipline a child might correct a child, might impose some, uh, I suppose you could use the word here if you wanted to, some punishment to teach a lesson or to help a child to grow. Um, <clears throat> but the punitive nature of like sitting in time out or whatever doesn't feel consonant with the perfect expression of a perfect love. But it does, it does seem reasonable to think that God will could correct us or use our experiences to make of us something more, something better. It's funny too how I went to the punishing part first, not the rewarding. <clears throat> Reward is tricky too. Not because I'm afraid to say that God, or there's at least language in the Bible that indicates that God does things for people based on the things people did first but because those passages and that idea has become so, it's led to faith in America being so transactional to the point that I think when God doesn't do something we thought she should have, we're tempted to stop believing in God, which I think in some sense misses the point. But here's another way of saying it, no way of thinking about it. <clears throat> Could you make a pretty sound argument that God does in fact... Um, do good things for good behavior and allow bad things for bad behavior, I suppose. But then also, too, there's very, very, very clear language in the Bible, New Testament in particular, about good things happening to everybody. And by implication, one can assume that bad things happen to everybody, too. It, it occurs to me now what I like about that is it doesn't, it doesn't allow us to make a rule of it, does it? And that's what I think has happened in America. That's what bothers me. Sure, there may be times, I suspect it might be true, that in my life a good thing has happened to me because of a good thing I did. Awesome. It is also undoubtedly true that I've experienced wonderful things I didn't deserve. And I've experienced hardships and pain and frustration and disappointment and loss and hopelessness that I couldn't draw a straight line to some bad behavior on my part. It just happened to me. And so I think what it makes me think of the most is that we've Americanized Jesus in a lot of ways, but in this way in particular, that if you work hard and if you do the right thing, then Jesus will keep you from getting sick and he'll make you wealthy. I don't think those things are true. You might never get sick just because. And a lot of people who are wealthy are probably wealthy in spite of things they've done. In the same way that not everybody who is poor is poor because they haven't worked hard enough or because they're lazy or because they don't care enough. See what happens when you frame your faith that way? That's a really, really good question. Does God reward and punish? Yes and no. I think God allows God's goodness to be experienced by all God's children. And I think bad things happen to everybody. And I think it is also true that God uses difficult things in the lives of God's children to teach them. I think that is true. It's hard, though. I don't love it. I really hope I'm wrong about that. But I think it's, I think it's true. 
That was a good one. Rewards are tough, right? Rewards are really tricky because think about how even in behavioral psychology, the idea of rewards has kind of taken over everything, right? Okay, that's a... I'm not... No, I'm not taking the bait that I gave myself. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to rabbit trail. Okay, that was a good one. That was a nice halfway point. That was good. That was really good. You guys have been really great. Here's your reward.